The New Orleans broadcasting community, including those of us here at Channel 4, learned this morning of the death of Andre Trevine, the longtime local broadcaster who was famously paired with Eric on the morning news for nearly a decade, died yesterday after a long illness. And Eric is here now with more on this longtime colleague and friend, and it's just shocking news. I mean, she's very young. Yeah, it's just it's, it's something I never thought I'd be doing. Andre and I, as Mike mentioned, worked together through much of the 80s. And for those of you who remember, to say we had a tumultuous relationship was an understatement. Actually, they wrote newspaper articles about our bickering and on-air arguments. Those were real. What a lot of people don't know is how close we became off the air. Andrew was a fireball, but a warm, loving, caring friend who would do anything for you. She was never afraid to speak her mind, and that's what we loved about her. Excuse me. Uh, she came back to New Orleans in the late 70s and worked at WYLD before Channel 4 discovered her and put her on the air. And even with very little TV experience, she was a natural. In the early 80s, while I was on PM Magazine, she co-anchored the morning news with John Quaintance. Then when PM ended in 1984, I joined her in January of 85, and the morning news was never the same. You know, you know, it, it, it was chemistry. It really was because... You know, and a lot of people think that we didn't like each other, but we're friends to this day. We're still friends. We've always been friends. Uh, but I'm not going to sit there and let him get away with some of the things he did, and that's what the chemistry was. I think our chemistry it was the reason for the ratings and everything because we just, we just had that spark going on because I would not let him get away with a lot of stuff he tried to get away with. But he's still, he's still one of my best friends always will be. As we said, Andre left WWL-TV in 1992. Then the next year, her life was changed forever. Her son, Morris, was killed uh, with a man by a pistol. Uh, she was a pistol just like his, uh, his mom. Andre returned to TV as an anchor on WGNO, then found a second career, actually returning to her roots as a radio talk show host on WWL and later on WRNO. She is survived by her husband, Bruce, her son, Bruce Jr., and her daughter, Dawn. To say this has been a cuff top of the week, a couple of weeks for us at Channel 4 is an understatement. Last week, we lost our dear friend and colleague, Don Westbrook, and this week, Andre. They were two giants in New Orleans television, and we were so lucky to have known them, and I cannot tell you how privileged I was to have called them friends.